Hello everybody, what I'm showing you now will blow your mind away. What you see here is Matrix Awakens, an Unreal Engine 5 experience running on the PlayStation 5. And this just blew me away. The, basically, it's an experience gaming interactive one. Uh, part of it is kind of a cutscene, but again, everything you see here is just in real time. And uh, it runs using Unreal Engine 5. Now, Unreal Engine 5 uses a new technology that allows it to achieve a very high degree of uh, realism. And what you see here again, everything here is real time. So this is like in-game, as you see it. Not cutscene, not pre-rendered movie, everything in real time. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure actually when I played it, this is going it's real, it's in real time. I wasn't sure, I, I have to admit, I wasn't sure. But the moment actually we switch from having this kind of a cutscene to uh, something more interactive, then I said, oh my god. That moment I realized this is, this is a game changer, literally. Alright, what you see here, by the way, is again, in-game. Everything is in real time. Everything. I mean everything. All the buildings, everything. The visual effects, the cars, the reflection, everything running in real time. All these, you see all this, uh, the glass inside the car, this particle system moving, you see the physics. It's just crazy. Look at this. Everything again runs in real time. Uh, in a moment, you can actually see it gets just better and better uh, when I'm able to actually just roam free through the world. Now we're going to see, by the way, uh, some of the visual effects, the explosions, which are really cool. Again, you just feel like you are inside a movie when actually all this happens. I just felt like just got inside the Matrix movie. Uh, but again, you still see that it's gamey look again, but this is as close as photorealistic as I've seen on the PlayStation 5 by far. is another part by the way as you can see here the <laughs> look at this this is crazy the particle effects are insane and i'm shooting right now i'm shooting with a gun shooting the cars again it's like a game right i'm shooting right now this is not pre-rendered all right the next thing i want to show you is uh once the demo this kind of a uh, matrix uh awakens kind of a uh, cinematic part then you see the logo Unreal Engine 5 and then we're going to move to the section where I can actually just free roam the world and then you realize how amazing the technology really is. Anyway, I'm still blown away. So first of all, you can see that they demonstrate things, for example, like the messy eye. You see this, it looks like a movie, like I can actually toggle things off and then I realize this is in real time. What I see here is in real time. Everything is just built in front of my eyes. Look at this. It's just a free camera roaming around. In, in a moment, you're going to see me just traveling. Uh, this is uh, the uh, global illumination. i just pressing a button. Night, day, instantly. Night, day. Just pressing a button. Everything changes for the entire scene. This is also for the particle system. It's just crazy. This is Nana, the technology. So as I get closer, you know, the resolution, everything increases, as it gets far away, it decreases. But you can still see how the Nanit actually composed the scene when I see it in this um, unique visualization mode. Look at this, look how realistic it looks. This is temporal super resolution, so it increases the resolution. Everything seems very, very sharp and very clear. Also, the audio was amazing here. Everything just felt real. That's how I can say it. real just felt real. Meta human. It's amazing when you get inside a scene like that and just start walking around in something that looks so realistic. I just wanted to go there, by the way, inside in VR. I, really, that's what I wanted to do. And of course, this is something we can do with this technology. I haven't seen one, but that would be something amazing. And I'm looking at everything and I just couldn't believe at this moment that this is all real. Look at the reflections on the ground. Now I'm actually going to uh, free flight. So I can just roam around. And at this moment, I just, again, it just seems so such an unreal experience. <laughs> like the game engine. That's such an unreal experience. 
and everything, the detail, when you get as close as you can even to you, the textures, everything just look super, super uh, you know, realistic. Details, lots of details. It's unbelievable. Look at this. And of course you can do, you can do much, much more than this, which I'm going to show you right now in a moment. So basically you have different options. Uh, you can go here. By the way, there's a photo mode as well. Uh, and you can play with things. And right now I'm actually playing around with the uh, different settings. One thing I really like is the visualization because it, you can realize that, well, it, it is 3D and there's no catch. It's really 3D and everything in real time. I'm repeating this because again, it's so impressive. It's just so impressive. And you, you can play actually with the global illumination, just rotating the sun around. I actually don't know, by the way, how to change to night again. Probably can check it out in a secondary video. I'm going to get more in-depth. You can actually move the greenish matrix-like thing. Look at this. Crazy, huh? It's just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. You can also drive cars, by the way, take a car. And by the way, the physics of the car, you need to see this. I just didn't, first of all, I didn't expect I can actually just take a car and drive. And I didn't expect the physics to be that good, which I'm going to show you in a moment. First of all, I just uh, fly a bit more and see how impressive everything looks. Look, this is just unbelievable. And this is run on the PlayStation 5. Crazy. And I decided to just go and check things, you know, just a bit closer. And all the details, it's, it's mind-blowing. You go to the smallest detail and you see so much detail, even in the smallest 3D model. Very high quality textures. Everything runs super, super smooth. But when you get, I got to a window just to see, you know, the 3D models, some of them, you know, kind of a uh, low res. But again, they weren't putting many, many high quality 3D models inside, like the plan there, you see? It's kind of a, uh, yeah. but again, they could put something very high quality, but probably in those little details that didn't bother too much. But they can, and it won't affect their performance negatively because of the way the technology works. And also check the rails, and the texture on the rails was amazing. Checking out again some just 3D models of wood and I mean, look at this. You get close, super close, still looks amazing. Nothing blurry, everything looks super crisp and sharp. Then it's just going up. I just can't believe that uh, this technology is just, again, it's a game changer. So imagine playing like, you know, different games like, uh, I don't know, any game that you think like you can actually enjoy this like open world like this with such high realism can be absolutely amazing. Look at this. Look at the details. Crazy. There's no, you see, there's no limit. I can see far, as far as I can see. I can see all the details. There's no limit, you know, how far you can actually render. You see everything, basically. And here I'm just changing the global lightning illumination. Again, everything in real time. All right, the last thing I want to show you is uh, driving. I didn't expect it, but I just got close to the car. And uh, look at this, I can actually drive. Actually drive the car. Now look, I'm actually we're gonna bump into other cars so I can actually see the physics. I didn't expect it to be. I thought it's just gonna, you know, just gonna skip it and not gonna make it. But everything was so well made here. I'm just gonna bump into. Uh, you see, in a second, I'm gonna bump into a car. Look at this! <laughs> I was blown away. Like perfect collision physics. It's just amazing. I was just measuring, you know, where I actually got bumped into and I told myself, wait a second, how could it be that good? 
It's not even a racing game. It just look at this. Just checking the bump. Look at the bump. They actually bump there on the left side. Just perfect physics. It's crazy. What can I say? I'm gonna share more of this. I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time there because I really, really love the technology there. It, it, what you see here again is just create something that is a game changer for the gaming industry, and I can't wait to explore it more and see, you know, all the pros and cons of it. For right now, I just see pros. I mean, I just imagine what developers can actually make with the technology uh, on any platform. Of course, not just for the PlayStation Five. So this is it, hope you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and give this one a little like, I'm going to share more insights uh, when I spend more time, which I'm going to do today, and I'm going to share with you. So until the next time, thanks for watching, cheers.